Through the BRICS, would a new currency emerge to challenge the dollar's hegemony? Maybe, but that might not be the main idea. Hi and welcome to this analytical briefing with ideal politics on geopolitics, international relations and world affairs. Putting things into perspective, what is the scope of the BRICS blockchain payment system? How does it support the movement to de-dollarize South American nations? And what will a new BRICS currency accomplish in the pursuit of a shift away from the US dollar in global trade? Let's evaluate these at the briefing that was just held. Now, let's get going. The leaders of the BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. Group, which was originally formed in August 2023, were hosted by South Africa. Since then, the group has grown to include Saudi Arabia and Iran, among other nations. The establishment of a new shared BRICS currency was one of the agenda issues. As a researcher who has spent more than 10 years studying the BRICS nations, I can definitely understand why there is growing interest in the idea of a BRICS currency. Anticipated in 2024, the BRICS summit comes at a time when nations throughout the globe are grappling with a shifting geopolitical environment that is appending the West's long-standing hegemony. Furthermore, even though the BRICS plus nations have been working to lessen their dependency on the dollar for more than 10 years, the process has been sped up by Western sanctions imposed on Russia following its invasion of Ukraine. In the meantime, other nations are becoming increasingly concerned about their debt denominated in dollars and the potential collapse of the dollar in the event that the world's largest economy ever defaults due to rising interest rates and the recent situation around the US debt ceiling. All told, there are significant obstacles in the way of a new BRICS currency becoming a reality. Notwithstanding, currency talks do demonstrate the BRICS nation's efforts to generate novel concepts for reshaping global affairs and efficiently coordinating policies around them. But before we do, if you enjoy this content, would you kindly support this channel by giving it a like and clicking the subscribe button below? Doing so will help YouTube understand your preferences and allow you to receive updates on new videos as soon as they are posted on this channel. I'm grateful. Now let's move forward. De-dollarization gaining traction. The dollar is unquestionably the dominant currency in the world, with 88% of international transactions denominated in US dollars and the dollar holding 58% of global foreign exchange reserves. However, since Russia invaded Ukraine, de-dollarization, or the process of lowering an economy's reliance on the US dollar for international trade and finance has accelerated. The BRICS plus nations have been working on a number of projects to lessen their reliance on the US dollar. Russia, China and Brazil have increased the amount of non-dollar currencies they utilize in cross-border transactions over the past year. The United Arab Emirates, Saudi Arabia and Iraq are all actively looking at alternatives to the dollar. Additionally, central banks have made an effort to move a larger portion of their currency reserves from the dollar to gold. For various reasons, each of the BRICS plus countries has expressed disapproval of the dollar's hegemony. De-dollarization has been promoted by Russian officials as a way to lessen the impact of sanctions. Sanctions have prevented Russian banks from using SWIFT, the international messaging system that facilitates bank transactions. Additionally, last year, the West frozen Russia's 330 billion US dollars in reserves. Meanwhile, Luiz Inácio Lula da Silva was re-elected to the presidency of Brazil in the 2022 election. Longtime BRICS supporter Lula previously worked to lessen Brazil's reliance on and exposure to the dollar. He has discussed the creation of a new currency akin to the euro and reinvigorated the group's commitment to de-dollarization. The dollar's hegemony has also been expressed by the Chinese government, which calls it the main source of instability and uncertainty in the world economy. Beijing openly attributed the significant devaluation of other currencies and the unrest in the global financial market to the Fed's interest rate hike. China has opposed the use of sanctions as a geopolitical tool like the other BRICS nations. De-dollarization and the potential creation of a BRICS currency are appealing since they would lessen these issues. On its possibilities, experts in the United States are sharply split. According to US Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen, the dollar will continue to rule since most nations lack any other option. However, 
A former economist in the White House sees the potential for a BRICS currency to challenge dollar dominance. The idea of a BRICS currency has gained traction, but little is known about the many models that are being considered. The most ambitious course would be to establish a unified currency similar to the euro, which was accepted by 11 member states of the European Union in 1999. However, considering the complex political dynamics within BRICS and the disparities in economic strength, creating a single currency would be challenging. In addition, BRICS would need to approve an exchange rate mechanism, have effective payment systems, and have a stable, liquid financial market in order for a new currency to function. In order to convince others that the new currency is dependable, BRICS would need to establish a solid history of cooperative currency management. At this point, a BRICS equivalent of the euro seems improbable, because none of the participating nations have expressed a desire to give up their national currencies. Instead, it seems that the objective is to first establish a new currency and then a successful integrated payment system for cross-border transactions. There are already foundational pieces for this. The BRICS Interbank Cooperation Mechanism was established in 2010 to enable local currency cross-border payments between BRICS banks. The BRICS countries have been working on creating BRICS Pay, a method of payment that allows them to deal with each other without exchanging local currency for dollars. Additionally, there has been discussion of the creation of a BRICS cryptocurrency, as well as the strategic alignment of central bank digital currency development to advance economic integration and currency interoperability. With so many nations expressing interest in joining BRICS, the organization is probably going to pull back its de-dollarization efforts. From the BRICS idea to actuality, undoubtedly, a number of the group's most audacious prior attempts to establish significant BRICS projects in order to emulate non-Western infrastructures have fallen short. Promising concepts such as establishing a BRICS credit rating agency and a BRICS underwater connection were never implemented. Additionally, the dollarization initiatives have encountered difficulties on both a bilateral and multinational scale. The new development bank was established in 2014 by the BRICS nations, and as per the terms of its founding agreement, the bank's operations may be funded with local currency of the host nation. Nevertheless, the bank's viability in 2023 depends mostly on the dollar. Approximately 22% of the bank's portfolio is financed in local currency, but by 2026, the bank's new president wants to raise that percentage to 30%. Bilateral attempts at de-dollarization face comparable difficulties. India and Russia have worked to create a system for exchanging local currencies so that Indian importers can pay for Russia's inexpensive coal and oil in rupees. However, negotiations came to an abrupt halt when Moscow lost interest in building up currency reserves. Notwithstanding these obstacles to de-dollarization, the BRICS group has a history of exceeding expectations. Therefore, it is important not to discount their resolve to take action. Despite significant disparities among the five nations, the bloc was able to forge common policies and weather significant crises like the conflict in Ukraine and the boundary disputes between China and India in 2020-21. In addition to investing in new financial institutions and expanding the scope of policy concerns it handles, BRICS has strengthened its cooperation. It currently has a vast global network of interconnected processes that link think tanks, corporations, governments, and other stakeholders. Finance ministers from the BRICS countries regularly coordinate on a number of subjects, including the potential for new financial partnerships, even in the absence of movement on the front of a common currency. Without a doubt, the mere discussion of a new BRICS currency is a significant sign of the desire of several countries to move away from the dollar. However, I think concentrating just on the BRICS money runs the risk of obscuring the bigger picture. The dollarization or the introduction of a new BRICS currency won't lead to the creation of a new global economic system overnight. However, it might result from the BRICS resolve to innovate and coordinate their policies, which this currency project embodies. The BRICS plus countries have been looking into alternatives to the custom of carrying out cross-border economic deals in US dollars in recent years. As BRICS members look to strengthen their economic and financial cooperation and lessen their reliance on the US dollar, the concept of using local currencies for trade has gained support. 
This article explores the possible advantages of the BRICS adopting their own national currencies for trade, indicating a move away from the US dollar's hegemony in international commerce. 1. Decrease exchange rate risks. The decrease in exchange rate risks is one of the main benefits of the BRICS adopting their own currencies for trade. Member states' trade balances and overall economic stability may be impacted by changes in the value of the US currency when trade transactions are conducted in US dollars. The BRICS nations can reduce these risks by engaging in local currency trading, which will improve economic resilience and result in more consistent trade flows. 2. Strengthened monetary authority. The BRICS countries have more authority over their monetary policy when they use their indigenous currencies. Member nations frequently find themselves susceptible to US monetary policies when commerce is conducted in US currency. Greater financial autonomy is fostered by the BRICS countries' ability to customize their monetary policies to fit their unique economic circumstances through the adoption of local currencies for trade. 3. Improved regional and bilateral relations. Within the BRICS framework, accepting local currencies for trade can strengthen bilateral and regional ties. Member countries can strengthen their economic links, which can result in additional investment, technological cooperation, and cooperative development projects, as trade transactions become more smooth and direct. Increased regional integration has the potential to support the stability and overall growth of the BRICS economies. 4. Lower transaction expenses. Member countries frequently pay extra for currency conversion and exchange rate changes when trade is done in US dollars. When local currencies are used, there is no need for these changes, which lowers transaction costs and improves cross-border trade efficiency. Businesses within the BRICS group may benefit from increased profitability and competitiveness as a result. 5. Promoting trade within the BRICS. Encouragement of local currency use can encourage more trade within the BRICS. Members of the BRICS grouping can allow easier trade transactions and incentivize firms to explore new markets by doing away with the necessity for a common reserve currency such as the US dollar. For the member nations, this may result in greater growth prospects and economic diversity. 6. Contesting the dull hegemony. The BRICS countries are working together to undermine the US dollar's long-standing dominance in international trade by accepting local currencies for trade. This action reflects the growing prominence of emerging economies and suggests a movement towards a more multipolar global economic structure. Through less reliance on the US dollar, the BRICS nations may help create a more just and balanced global financial system. Adopting local currencies for commerce among the BRICS countries has several advantages and has the potential to change the dynamics of the global economy. The BRICS member nations can create a more robust, inclusive, and cooperative global trade environment by lowering transaction costs, promoting intra-BRICS trade, boosting monetary sovereignty, reducing exchange rate risks, fortifying regional ties, and opposing dollar hegemony. BRICS has the potential to significantly influence how international trade and finance develop as long as it keeps investigating and putting these kinds of initiatives into action. Kindly remember to like and subscribe to this channel in order to help us continue to bring you more thought-provoking videos like this one as new developments emerge. And with that, we wrap things up for the time being. I hope this briefing was able to provide you with some useful content. Thanks for watching. See you when we post our next international affairs video.